Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order Number 58 of 2017, calling the Shura and Representatives Council to convene on Sunday, the 8th of October, to commence the fourth session of the fourth legislative term. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the Chairman of the Jafari Waqf Directorate, Sheikh Mohsen Abdul Hussein Al Asfour, and the General Authority for Husseiniya processions on the conclusion of the Ashura season, where they expressed thanks and appreciation for the directives of His Majesty the King to facilitate the season, which contributed to its success. <laughs> Then the guests greeted His Majesty.
After that, verses from the Holy Quran were recited. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن للمتقين عند ربهم جنات النعيم أَفَنَجْعَلُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ كَالْمُجْرِمِينَ مَا لَكُمْ كَيْفَ تَحْكُمُونَ أَمْ لَكُمْ كِتَابٌ فِيهِ تَدْرُسُونَ إِنَّ لَكُمْ فِيهِ لَمَا تَخَيَّرُونَ أَمْ لَكُمْ أَيْمَانٌ عَلَيْنَا بَالِغَةٌ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ إِنَّ لَكُمْ لَمَا تَحْكُمُونَ سَلْهُمْ أَيُّهُمْ بِذَلِكَ زَعِيمٌ أَمْ لَهُمْ شُرَكَاءُ فَلْيَأْتُوا بِشُرَكَائِهِمْ إِنْ كَانُوا صَادِقِينَ يَوْمَ يُكْشَفُ عَنْ سَاقٍ وَيُدْعَوْنَ إِلَى السُّجُودِ فَلَا يَسْتَطِيعُونَ خاشعة أبصارهم ترهقهم ذلة وقد كانوا يدعون إلى السجود وهم سالمون صدق الله العظيم يتفضل سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى أيده الله بإلقاء كلمة His Majesty then delivered a speech in which he welcomed the guests noting the importance of Ashura as a religious occasion that the world celebrates His Majesty his Majesty stated that Ashura is a season that brings all Muslims together regardless of their sects by cont contemplating the uniting values of Islam, adding that Islam is a religion of peace and tolerance. His Majesty noted that the Bahraini society has always been keen on respecting and reviving the processions of Ashura, which is a historical peculiarity unique to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The King underscored the religious freedom of Bahrain adding that the maintenance of such levels of religious freedom is a shared responsibility. His Majesty stated that the Kingdom's peaceful coexistence reflects the Bahraini people's integrity and morals and their respect to their social fabric and coexistence. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the ministries and authorities concerned at the forefront of which is the Ministry of Interior for its distinguished efforts by providing security and civil services to the people. He also thanked the Jafariya Waqf Directorate and Matim's affiliates for their good organization and follow-up to ensure the success of the Ashura season. His Majesty wished the Kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity. ولا زالت حتى يومنا هذا ولله الحمد ونحن إذ نفخر بما تنعم به البحرين من حرية كبيرة على صعيد ممارسة الشعائر الدينية دون أدنى شعور 
بفرقة أو تمييز نود التأكيد على أن الحفاظ على هذه المستويات الرحبة من الحريات الدينية هي مسؤولية مشتركة وعلينا جميعا أن نحافظ على هذا النموذج المتحضر والحاضن للتعددية الدينية والمذهبية بتعايش وانسجام وبما يعكس الخلق الرفيع والشيم الأصيلة لأهل البحرين الكرام واحترامهم لنسيجهم الاجتماعي وعيشهم المشترك على مر العصور ولا يسعنا في الختام إلا أن نعرب عن شكرنا للوزارات والمؤسسات المعنية وفي مقدمتها وزارة الداخلية الموقر على ما بذلت من جهود رفيعة المستوى سواء من خلال تقديم الخدمات الأمنية أو المجتمعية والتي ساهمت بشكل كبير في إحاطة الشعائر بالعناية والحماية اللازمة ونتقدم كذلك بالشكر لإدارة الأوقاف الجعفرية والقائمين على المآتم على حسن تنظيمهم ومتابعتهم الحثيثة لإنجاح موسم عاشوراء مقدرين للجميع لما أبدوه من تعاون طيب سائلين الله جلت قدرته بأن يجعل مملكتنا على الدوام الوطن الحاضن لقيم السلام والتسامح والتعايش وأن يديم المحبة والأخاء على أهلها الكرام والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Then the chairman of the Jaffari Wealth Directorate gave a speech in which he thanked His Majesty the King on behalf of the Wealth Board members and its employees as well as heads of matams and processions for the care and attention to ceremony to commemorate Ashura. He hailed the directives of His Majesty and the support of the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the ministries and its establishments to provide all facilities for Matam's processions, Hesenias noting the efforts and services provided by all state bodies and the cooperation of civil bodies. He also hailed the cooperation of the Ministry of the Interior to aid the success of this occasion under the supervision of the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the follow up of governors and ministry officials to ensure safety and the attendance of Ashura participants to revive this occasion in different regions and provinces of the kingdom, as well as organizing traffic, securing routes, and providing security services. He praised the efforts of the Ministry of Health and its keenness to provide better medical services to participants in Ashura season through awareness campaigns and providing ambulances. He also praised the efforts of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, and Urban Planning to ensure the cleanliness of streets in various areas and the initiatives of the Electricity and Water Authority and other government institutions cooperating with all civil society organizations and representatives of matams and processions. The chairman of the Jafariya Waqf Directorate stated that these religious events are rooted in the country and have been maintained for years, adding that the leadership's ancestors continuously supported them and the support increased during His Majesty's reign, hailing His Majesty's annual royal gesture for Matam and Hussainiyas and his directives to the government to follow up on the needs of places of worship and provide all the required services to facilitate religious rituals. He commended His Majesty's directives to preserve the sanity of these events and to establish the values and principles of coexistence between the people of the kingdom under their national unity and Islamic values. He stated the Jafariya Waqf Directorate began their early preparations for Ashura season to provide all the required facilitations. The the directorate also participated in coordinating meetings with the government bodies, Matams and Husseiniyas, as well as directly cooperating with presidents and heads of Husseiniyas and Matams and all the organizers of central morning processions. He wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness and the kingdom and its people progress and prosperity.
في مختلف مناطق ومحافظات المملكة وتسهيل إجراءات دخول الخطباء والرواديد من الخارج إلى جانب تنظيم الحركة المرورية وتأمين المسارات وتوفير الخدمات الأمنية والاحتياجات الضرورية التي تتطلبها إحياء هذه المناسبة كما نشيد بجهود وزارة الصحة وحرصها على المشاركة لتقديم أفضل الخدمات الطبية والصحية للمشاركين في إحياء موسم عاشوراء من خلال الحملات التوعوية وتواجد سيارات الإسعاف بمعية الطواقم الطبية إضافة إلى جهود وزارة الأشغال والبلديات والتخطيط العمراني التي تبذل جهودا مضاعفة بتكثيف حملات النظافة في مختلف المناطق خصوصا مسارات المواكب حيث كان العمل متواصلا على مدار الساعة لتأمين نظافة الشوارع والطرقات علاوة على المبادرات التي توليها هيئة الكهرباء والماء وغيرها من مؤسسات الحكومية التي تتضافر جهودها مع كل مؤسسات المجتمع المدني وممثلي المآتم والمواكب والمضائف للخروج بموسم عاشوراء على النحو الأكمل صاحب الجلالة إن هذه المناسبة الدينية الخالدة متأصلة في وجدان هذا البلد قيادة وشعبا وكانت محفوظة مصانة على مر السنين ومحل عناية خاصة من حكام البحرين أجدادكم وآبائكم الكرام الذين كانوا يؤلون المساجد والمآتم والمواكب وسائر الشعائر المرعية أيما رعاية وعناية ودعم سخي تواصل بل تضاعف في عهدكم الزاهر وخصوصا في مناسبة عاشوراء التي تولونها جلالتكم وحكومتكم الموقرة أقصى مراتب الرعاية والاهتمام مثمنين عاليا مكرمتكم السنوية السامية للمآتم والروضات الحسينية التي تمثل سنة حميدة منذ عهود آبائكم الكرام كابرا عن كابر وتوجيهاتكم الكريمة لحكومتكم الموقرة بمتابعة احتياجات دور العبادة وكفالة ممارسة الشعائر الدينية في أجواء من الأمن والتسامح والطمأنينة وتقديم ما يلزم من تسهيلات وخدمات على كافة الصعد فضلا عن تخصيص عطلة رسمية في مناسبة عاشوراء تعطل فيها الدولة وكافة وزاراتها ومؤسساتها في يومي التاسع والعاشر إننا يا صاحب الجلالة نثمن توجيهاتكم الكريمة بأهمية الحفاظ على هذه المناسبات العريقة بعيدا عن التسييس والتوظيف الطائفي البغيض والحفاظ على خصوصيتها الدينية بعيدا عن الأجندات الحزبية والعمل على ترسيخ قيمها الإنسانية الراقية وما ترمز إليه من مبادئ التعايش والإخاء بين جميع أبناء مملكة البحرين تحت راية وحدتهم وحدتهم الوطنية وقيمهم الإسلامية السامية المشتركة الجامعة التي يحفل بها تراثنا الإسلامي المأثور عن خاتم المرسلين صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وآل بيته الطاهرين عليهم السلام وأصحابه المنتجبين رضوان الله عليهم صاحب الجلالة إن إدارة الأوقاف الجعفرية بدأت استعداداتها المبكرة لتنظيم موسم عاشوراء لعام 1439 الموافق لسنة 2017 حيث وضعت خطة متكاملة لضمان نجاح هذا الموسم وإحيائه على أكمل وجه وذلك بتقديم كل التسهيلات اللازمة لموسم عاشوراء تشمل التنسيق والتواصل مع جميع الجهات الرسمية وتطوير منظومة من الخدمات تغطي جميع مآتم ومواكب وهيئات العزاءات المركزية والمضائف على مستوى المحافظات الأربع وشاركت في اجتماعات تنسيقية داخل وخارج الإدارة مع الجهات الحكومية والمآتم إلى جانب التعاون والتنسيق المباشر مع رؤساء وممثلي المآتم وجميع منظمي مواكب العزاءات المركزية وختاما لا يسعنا إلا أن نسأل الله العلي القدير أن يمتع جلالتكم بموفور الصحة والسعادة وطول العمر ويمدكم بعونه وتسديده لمواصلة قيادة مسيرة الخير والنماء والإصلاح في مملكة البحرين بقيادتكم الحكيمة والشامخة ومؤازرة حكومتكم الموقرة وشعبكم الوفي راجين من الله عز وجل أن يعود هذه المناسبات على جلالتكم وعلى شعب البحرين الكريم 
بالعزة والمنعة والخير والرخاء ودمتم يا صاحب الجلالة بعون الله سالمين وموفقين ودام العز لمملكة البحرين تحت قيادتكم المحنكة والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Schlumberger Limited, Paul Kipsgaard, for the services of oil field on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom. His Majesty held the cooperation between Bahrain and the United States on all levels, especially in the domains of power, investment, commerce and economy. He also commended the deep cooperation between the National Oil and Gas Authority and Schlumberger Limited for oil fields services in the context of their joint projects in the oil sector to achieve mutual benefit. He highlighted the company's operations and projects in the kingdom and the oil services it provides to national and international oil companies according to the latest methods and techniques. The talks also discussed the developments of the international oil market. On his part, the Schlumberger Limited CEO reviewed the company's future activities and plans and its investment projects in various world countries, praising the cooperation level between the two countries. Also present was the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, arrived at the Chechen Republic, where he was received at the airport by the head of the Chechen Republic, Ramzan Ahmadovich Kadyrov, the Prime Minister, the President of the Parliament, and a number of ministers and officials, as well as the Bahraini Ambassador to Russia, Ahmed Saati. An official reception ceremony was held held in honor of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and after a short recess, uh, His Highness held talks with the head of the Chechen Republic on the close relationships between the two countries. He conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the head of the Chechen Republic who wished him success and prosperity in various domains. His Highness stated that His Majesty the King is keen on building strong relations with the Chechen Republic. He hailed the Chechen heads' efforts to develop the Republic for the interest of its people and his keenness to consolidate relations with Bahrain. His Highness commended the results of the Chechen head's visit to the kingdom, which contributed to enhancing the two countries' ties. He expressed wishes of success to the Chechen head in leading his country to further development in various domains, wishing the Republic of Chechnya further progress and prosperity. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended a launch banquet held by the head of the Chechen Republic, Ramzan Ahmadovich Kadyrov, in his honor at the Presidential Palace. Prior to the launch to the launch banquet, both parties held talks in which His Highness praised the friendship and cooperation between the two countries and stressed Bahrain's keenness under the leadership of His Majesty. Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to further develop these relations and strengthen them in all fields, expressing pride in the development of the Bahraini Chechen relations. His Honor Sheikh Nasser affirmed that this visit will contribute in supporting and reinforcing bilateral relations to serve the interests of both countries. The banquet was attended by a number of Chechen ministers and officials. 
Now, the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Council of Information and Communication Technology, Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, patronized the 2017 eGovernment Excellence Award hosted at the Gulf Hotel in the presence of the Shura Council Chairman, Deputy Prime Minister, and a number of ministers. Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak delivered a speech in which he welcomed the guests and participants. He affirmed the importance of the award since its launch in 2008, which reflects the kingdom's approach in establishing and disseminating the foundations of electrics, electronic excellence among the groups of society and its institutions. He added that the award aims to shed light on all national ICT initiatives and identify the best practices applied in this vital field, which in a short period of time has attracted specialists and encouraged innovation, creativity and competition. The Deputy Prime Minister stated that the award has enhanced the level of digital projects in a way that guarantees a maximum benefit for individuals and all sectors. The award also contributes in developing innovative technical solutions in line with the government's strategy. This year, the award included seven categories, including new categories in the public sector, which reflect a continuous endeavor to reinforce and develop the competency of comprehensive services among government authorities and reduce their cost without compromising on quality in line with government's approach of minimizing expenditure. Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak honored the winners of the e-government award, which has become an indicator of the quality of these services and a tool to enhance the level of participants. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed his aspirations for more positive participations in future editions of the award. He congratulated the winners and commended their efforts. He also thanked all the participants and organizers of the award, wishing them further success.
And the regional workshop on enhancing the image of women in the Arab media began at the Supreme Council for Women headquarters today, organized by the Islamic Cooperation Organization and the Islamic Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, the ISESCO, in cooperation with the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Ministry of Information Affairs, and the Bahrain National Committee for Education, Science and Culture, which is one of the activities held on the occasion of choosing Manama as the Arab woman capital. At the beginning of the workshop, the SCW Director of Public Relations, Azzedin al muayyad gave a speech in which he affirmed the importance of this meeting, which discusses one of the most important topics in the SCW is keen on, which is media. He added that the workshop aims at identifying Arab countries' experiences and media strategies to support decision-makers' directives of adopting their po clear policies for the Arab woman's image in media by highlighting women's progress and successes in various fields.